very much uh, to the leadership of the Zong Museums of South Africa. My name is uh, uh, Dr. Pandurani Thomas Matoma. I was the ambassador of the Republic of South Africa to the Republic of Mali. Uh, all protocol observed, uh, it is my distinguished honor and privilege uh, to address you all on the occasion of the 2020 commemoration of Africa Day. We extend our heartfelt congratulations to the African Union for its 57th uh, birthday celebrations. Felicitation uh, a la Union la uh, Africaine. We are marking this anniversary celebrations under the theme, silencing the guns, creating conducive conditions for Africa's development. As you are all acutely aware, the African Union was established as the Afri Organization of African Unity, the OAU, on the 25th of May, 1963, in Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia. We are forever more grateful to our forefathers who had the grand vision of a united Africa, free from colonialism, imperialism, and all forms of oppression, racial discrimination and apartheid, and human rights abuses and colonialism of a special type. More importantly, we are still appreciative of the fact that despite their serious ideological differences um, articulated by the two contending blocks at the time, namely the Casablanca bloc led by uh, King Hassan II of Morocco and the Mon Monrovia bloc uh, of William Tubman of Liberia, Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana, Modibo Tate of Mali, and others. In their great wisdom, led by the Almighty God, these founding fathers of the OAU preferred political independence, African unity, and solidarity over petty ideological point scoring and machinations. It was under the guiding light of the visionary torch of our founding fathers that the next generation of African leaders, amongst them, uh, Colonel Muammar El Gaddafi of Libya, uh, Abdelaziz Bouteflika of Algeria, and Tabombeki of South Africa, to mention only a few, orchestrated the transformation of the Organization of African Unity, OAU, into the African Union, AU. This metamorphosis from the OAU to the AU took place right here in the Republic of South Africa. When the inaugural first session of the AU Heads of State and Government Assembly was held in Durban, Africa's busiest port in July of 2000. It was within this context that at its meeting in Niamey, the capital city of Niger, in July 2019 that the Executive Council of the AU decided that the theme of the year 2020 would be silencing the guns, creating conducive conditions for Africa's development. These celebrations are aimed at contributing to the achievement of the goal of a conflict-free Africa, which has the following overarching objectives. One, to make peace a reality. Two, to rid the continent of internecine wars, civil conflicts, human rights violations, humanitarian disasters, violent conflicts, and finally to prevent genocide, um, Allah, Rwanda, 1994. The selection of silencing the guns as the AU's theme for 2020 is serving as an opportunity to streamline collective efforts into an action plan to address the numerous challenges for the attainment of a peaceful and prosperous Africa beyond 2020. The theme silencing the guns is in line with the AU Master Road Plan, AUMR, Practical Steps for Silencing the Guns in Africa by 2020, which was adopted by the Assembly of the Heads of States and Government of the AU in 2017. Since the adoption uh, of this master roadmap, the African Peace and Security Council, headed by Ambassador Smile Chergui from Algeria, 
has been facilitating its implementation with the following key stakeholders. The member states of the African Union, the regional economic communities, RECs of the AU, regional mechanisms for conflict prevention, management and resolution, the Commission of the African Union, the United Nations, African institutions and organizations, civil society organizations or CSOs, and other partners. In doing so, all these stakeholders have agreed on the need to harness the immense potential of Africa's rich uh, resources and create the enabling environment for socio-economic development in the continent.